الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله it's important to constantly work on your iman because as is from the aqid of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah is that iman increases and decreases that iman fluctuates your faith fluctuates sometimes your faith is high sometimes your faith is low and likewise the aql from the aql yes the little aql come in come in we also can use the your intellect and our experience to verify that our iman fluctuates sometimes you feel strong in your faith you feel strong in your iman you don't always feel the same you don't always have the same confidence doesn't mean you disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes, no. But it just, let, you know sometimes that your iman, for example, it's Ramadan, you're fasting. You are seeking to draw near. Your time is used in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're in the festive mode of worshipping Allah wa ta'ala. At that time, for the believer, their iman is increased. They're reading Quran more. They're seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more. They're doing more a'mal. Salih a'mal. They're doing more righteous deeds to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their iman is increasing. And their iman is higher. Compared, or compare that to the times outside of Ramadan. For example, now. Perhaps many of us, we wake up. Maybe we wake up late for prayer. Maybe some people don't wake up at all for Salat. And they're busy with the dunya, they have to go to work, they have to go to school, they're involved in so many other activities which have no remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in those activities. And then they forget and their hearts become harder. And at times, depending on the environments and depending on the activities, your heart can be sick. Because there's no remembrance of Allah. Like the munafiqun, the hypocrites. Their hearts become sealed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases them in hardness in their hearts. You don't want to be like that. So that shows us, Ahabat Fillah, that at times we're weaker in faith. Because we're not remembering Allah. We're not being conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we might involve ourselves in many activities which are a waste of time and in fact a waste of your iman because they take away from your iman maybe you're busy yourself watching things that are muharram and they start off with a light muharramat and they increase until you're watching something which is pure filth so even in that state you still believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but you're doing acts of disobedience showing that your iman has decreased your iman is not like when you're in a state, when you're in Ramadan, when you strive to lower your gaze. You don't want to see Muharramat. You're fasting. Uh, someone argues with you. You're trying to be more patient. You're striving. That's a time of high iman. And we know from the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, which shows us the importance of commanding the good and forbidding the evil. And likewise, that commanding the good and forbidding the evil is a part of iman. And that it has different levels, meaning Iman has different levels. And it has different components. How do we know this? An Abi Sa'id al Khudri, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, قال, Sama'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam yaqul. Men ra'a minkum munkarin fali ghayrahu biyad. Whoever sees a munkar, meaning something sinful, something wicked, then change it with his hand. But in lim if he's unable to do so, then change it with his heart. For in lim qalbihi. Muslim. So in this hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ said, as narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu he said, I heard the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, Whoever sees a munkar, then change it with his hand. If he's unable to do so, then change it with his tongue, meaning speak out against it. And if he's unable to do that, then change it with his heart. 
adafli man. And that's the weakest form of faith. Letting us know that faith, faith can be weak. Letting us know that faith can be high at some times and lower. That there's maratib of iman. There's different levels of iman. Otherwise, the Prophet والسلام, would not have said, and that's the weakest form of faith. Letting us know that there's a weak form of faith and there's a high form of faith. And from that faith that is high and from that faith which is weak, or is a weaker illustrating uh, illustration of practice because the Prophet is saying, mentioning that this is uh, commanding the good and forbidding the evil, that change it with your hand, that's the highest level of Iman. This is the second level, second maratib, the second martaba. This is the second level of Iman. It's still from Iman that you uh, speak out against it. You advise someone. Yeah, brother, you know, that's not really good what you're doing. Sister, you know, it's better if you cover uh, in such and such way, you know, pr protect yourself, preserve your honor. You know, whatever the case may be, brother, you shouldn't listen to that. You know, it's better not to look at that. You know, whatever, however you do it, with advice. Whatever ways with the tongue that you're commanding the good and forbidding the evil. And the third level of that Iman, which is the weakest form, is hating in your heart. So maybe you're in a situation and you're unable to speak out against it. You're just seeing a lot of sin and a lot of munkar. At least detest that in your heart. At least don't be satisfied with the sin that you see around you, that you're immersed in an environment of sin. You're trying to get out of there, but you're witnessing it. You don't have the ability to speak out. You know, people will reject you, persecute you, whatever the case may be. You just don't have the qawwa to do that. You don't have the strength. So, it's still legislated for you to at least detest that in your heart. And don't think that you're just not a, a, a believer because you didn't say anything or because you didn't see anything. But rather, you're still from Ahli Iman. That's still a part of Iman. But you just don't want to, uh, you know, be satisfied with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the point. Don't be satisfied with disobedience to Allah, tabarakah wa ta'ala. Well, that is enough Iman. So that lets us know, Habit Allah, that Iman can be strong and Iman can be weak. And all of us are inflicted with that. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in our iman, increase us with ikhlas, with awad ala sunnah, and protect us from kulli su wa makru, from every kind of wickedness and detestable thing. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.